Good evening, everyone. I'm Rudy Trevino. And I'm Leslie Adami. At the top tonight, San Patricio County Judge David Krebs telling 3 News by this time next year that multi-billion dollar Exxon Plastics plant going up near Gregory will be up and running. Judge Krebs also says that the steel dynamics plant being built in Sinton should also be in production. Yeah, Michael Gibson has more on these two huge economic drivers that are bringing much needed jobs and tax dollars to the county. Plus, there's a connection to Tesla in all of this. This is the $1.7 billion steel dynamics plant under construction in Sinton. It's supposed to be up and running by the fall of 2021. Not only is it going to provide hundreds of good paying jobs, but it's also going to supply the steel used in making Tesla's Cybertruck. Right now, Tesla is building a factory in Austin that will produce the Cybertruck. Steel Dynamics has a 2,400 acre complex, which is supposed to also house a number of other businesses who work with SDI in other cities. There is a possibility if that, what's that plant and everything else that's going in out there is up in operation. There could be, we're estimating from the numbers that these people are giving us, at least 3,000 employees out there working at that area. The county judge says that if that turns out to be true, then it should end up being a bigger project than the $10 billion Exxon Plastics plant that is also under construction. The judge says he understands that that Exxon facility should also be open by next fall. There could be a big, big. It could be bigger than Exxon and Mobil, you know, number of employees out there on that site. Judge Krebs says the economic benefit of the steel and plastic plants will result in much needed tax dollars rolling in. Money that's going to come in handy as the county looks at turning the courthouse into strictly an administration building. Then it plans on spending more money to build a new courthouse annex on the east side of Sinton. There's also road projects and other needed upgrades and improvements around the county that are going to be able to be funded thanks to those two plants and the jobs and tax dollars they're bringing in. Michael Gibson, 3 News.